Iron Gwazi has been hyped up since Tigris was announced for Busch Gardens Tampa in 2018. And the park took the occasion to announce that they would be renovating their GCI dueling coaster for 2020. It took them a while to confirm it, but when they did, we realized that this wouldn't be just any RMC treatment. It would crack 200 feet and feature a beyond vertical drop. Everyone was anticipating this as the best new coaster for 2020. And then the pandemic came along and pushed it off until the spring of 2021. But just to keep us interested, Busch Gardens Tampa released the first official POV this week, and the ride looks incredible. But how does it stack up to the other RMCs? What can we tell about it based on this POV? A few months ago, I released my first Prime Ride Time video and showcased the world's RMCs, with Iron Gwazi obviously missing. Today, let's throw it into the mix and see how it compares. This is Iron Gwazi, by the numbers. Iron Gwazi is obviously one of the tallest RMCs. That's no secret. There are only three RMCs that reach the 200 foot mark. Steel Vengeance, Zadra, and now Iron Gwazi, which shares the number one spot with Zadra at 206 feet. Iron Gwazi's drop is actually slightly bigger, so it can claim the tallest RMC drop when it opens. But how about length? Steel Vengeance is famous for its insanely long ride, and Iron Gwazi cracks the 4,000 foot mark but comes nowhere near the top of this list, coming in 7th of the 19 RMCs. This is a big deal for me. I love a long ride, and the fact that it's about a whole RMC Raptor shorter than Steel Vengeance makes a difference. When it comes to track length, it falls between Lightning Rod and Wildfire, but this is stuff that we've all known for a year now. Let's take a look at what we can learn from the POV. From the first drop to the final breaks, Iron Gwazi checks in at 47 seconds. This is a solid ride time, and happens to be exactly the same as Joker at Six Flags Discovery Kingdom. It's a full 17 seconds longer than the RMC Raptor clones, but 30 seconds shorter than Steel Vengeance. If you rode Iron Gwazi and a Raptor back to back, it would be exactly the duration of Steel Vengeance. 47 seconds puts it tied for 11th place, sandwiched by Medusa's Steel Coaster, which is one second longer, and Zadra, which is one second shorter. But as we all know, duration doesn't tell the whole story. Let's look at pacing. Iron Gwazi has no mid-course breaks, and after a few high, off-the-ground elements at the beginning, it stays pretty low and has a ton of speed going into the final breaks. We all know that the amount of time the train takes to finish the course depends on how warmed up it is and the weight of the train, so who knows what its full potential is. But the pacing numbers from this official POV are very impressive. For my original video, Zadra was the king of pacing, so we're going to use that as the benchmark and see how much slower every coaster under it covers ground. From this list, Iron Gwazi slots in right behind Zadra, covering a little over 7 feet of track per second slower, very close to Iron Rattler's overall pacing. This is promising, but not surprising. The fastest coasters usually have the best pacing. Let's put the numbers aside for a second and just look at these elements. The first drop is going to be great, but those first two elements may be the best on the ride. You have a huge outer banked hill, a lot like the one on Steel Vengeance, which I call my favorite element of all time, and then an element that you won't find on any other RMC. That downward barrel roll. This reminds me a lot of the element on Steel Hog, and I can't wait to experience it on an RMC at full speed. The rest of the layout is low to the ground with several off-access hills, including a double down and a whippy hang time filled inversion. Also, a wave turn and an outward bank turn, which reminds me a lot of the green high five on Twisted Colossus. It ends with a drop into a bank turn into the final breaks with a full head of steam. It seems like it could go on for another 1,000 feet with all the speed it has left over. I think it's a strong layout, no real dead spots in the ride, but we'll see how each element actually rides. This is my most anticipated ride of 2021, though that Wallaby Intamin Mega Coaster may have something to say about that. Let me know what you think about the official POV of Iron Gwazi. I heard that some people were disappointed with it, but I don't see how that's possible given what we've seen. But unless you're one of the lucky few who has actually gotten to ride it, we'll just have to wait for the spring and see for ourselves. If you enjoyed this video, please drop a like. It really helps the channel. And if you're new here and like random coaster videos, give me a sub also, and I'll see you guys all next time.